everyone, welcome to my Tarot Corner. So a few months ago I showed you the Tarot Box, uh, which has this small cute card, uh, and it also has in it a very good book that uh, is very good for beginners, uh, very extensive, and also has these um, this puzzle that creates two uh, different kinds of uh, uh, spreads that you can use with this tarot box. I don't think that it is mass marketed any longer, but you can find this on eBay and it's not very uh, expensive. Now, I also have the uh, original uh, bigger cards uh, of Julia Sherman Bork by uh, that it's called the Sherman Caselli Tarot Deck. It's exactly the same cards, it's just bigger. And I decided to use the smaller ones today because I am going to use a nine card spread, so uh, it's easier with smaller cards. Now, yesterday I did a reading about the enemies of the Cambridges. Today I want to go into uh, the rift between the brothers and do a reading about a sibling rivalry. So before I start, please take a few moments to read my full disclaimer in the description box. This is a tarot reading. It is vibrational. It is open to interpretation. It exists as assumptions and speculation and as such may or may not be true. So please do your own research and decide for yourselves. So after doing the reading yesterday, I saw two articles uh, regarding the rift between the brothers. The first one was about a phone call between Harry and William in which uh, William spoke about the fact that uh, Megan bullied her staff and she left those people broken and uh, Harry was so mad at William that he just hung up the phone and then the second article talked about the fact that uh, Harry was, I'm sorry, William was so mad that he just came, went into the car and uh, went to talk to Harry face to face. And I don't know how it ended, but not in a good way, that's for sure. And just now I saw another car article about Catherine wanting to end the bad blood between the the two couples, but Megan is not willing to uh, forget or to forgive anything. Okay, so I'm going to look into the rivalry between the brothers. I'm going to look into how each of them sees the other. Uh, I'm going to look at the, the, the cause of the problem uh, from both sides, and I'm going to look into possible um, possible solutions. Okay, so first I'm clearing the deck. Okay, rivalry between Harry and William. What are the real reasons of the rivalry between them? How can they fix this rift if they can? What is the part of each of them in that uh, rivalry? How does each of them sees the other? And I can see my cat right here at the window waiting for me to open the window for her. So I'm going to do that in a minute, just one moment. And I'm leaving the, the, the uh, camera on so you can see. Boy, come on, boy. Here she comes in. It's so hot out there. I don't know why she insists on going out, but she does. Okay, I'll, I'll close the window once more. And Okay, so I'll do the shuffling once more and so the rift between Harry and William, 
the sibling rivalry from each uh, of, of them's point of view? And is there any way of healing that rivalry? So the first three cards are going to be from William's point of view. And the first card is how does William see Harry? And the card that I'm getting is the Knight of Cups. So usually I get with William the King of Cups, but uh, the Knight of Cups is uh, the fantasizer. So William sees Harry as someone who is, first of all, someone with a severe mental uh, mental instability, but also someone who tends to fantasize. He does not live in reality. This is someone who falls in love without even thinking. Uh, someone who doesn't check the, the, the person he's in love with because he builds this castle of imaginations and fantasies around that person without checking the, the real essence of that person. And this is exactly what William sees. He sees him as someone who is living in a fantasy world. So this is how William sees Harry. Now, what is William's side of uh, the problem? What is his part in the problem or in the rift between him and his brother? And what I'm getting here is the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is the uh, artist. Uh, now, because we're talking about uh, uh, William's part of the problem, uh, we see someone who also has some kind of a mental uh, not illness, but mental problems, and it is quite uh, natural because they both of them lost their mother in the same way. Uh, next week it will be 25 years, and I will channel Diana that day. Uh, but this card shows us that uh, uh, William, uh, part of the problem is is that he's first of all acting towards his brother as a very young person, as the page, as someone who is a. This is how he acts towards him. He sees him as the fantasizer, but he's acting towards him in a in a kind of a, pa a patronizing way. Uh, this is like a, an older bro brother that always sees his younger brother as a young child. Uh, he uh, sees uh, William, uh, Harry's uh, emotional instability, and because of that, uh, he knows he wants to help him. He wa he knows that he he needs. He, 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 he tried to help him, but he also sees that Harry is not taking care of himself, not in the right way. So uh, this is a person that this is a uh, this, this card shows us communication problem. The main problem from William's side is communication. It's a, a problem uh, in telling uh, Harry what he th sees and how he sees things in a way that Harry will not lash out at him. Harry is very angry. Harry is very disturbed. And there is uh, th th it, you need to be very careful when you talk to him. And William has a problem with communicating with Harry. It doesn't mean that he has communication problem with everyone. But in regard to Harry, he treats him like the little brother and he uh, has uh, really difficulty in communicating with Harry of today. Okay, so the third card is how does Harry, uh, how does William see the problem between him and his brother in a general way? And we're getting the seven of wands. So for William, he kind of uh, gave up on Harry. The seven of wands is a card that speaks about uh, being focused on the most important things and leaving the trivial th things things aside. And for, our, for William, he looks 
looks at the problem as something that he cannot solve, something that he cannot do anything to work with, and he needs to focus on the most important things, which are his uh, uh, charities, which is, are his uh, royal engagements, uh, the Earth Short Prize, everything that is connected to, the, to his goal of protecting the monarchy. And just this week I saw this someone saying that the days of the monarchy are numbered. So for William, this is the most important thing. So he is leaving uh, the problem with his brother on the side, and this could be very much a mistake because what Harry is doing is very damaging for the monarchy. So this could very much be a mistake, but for William, he doesn't see any possibility of repair. Okay, so how does Harry see William? And what I'm getting here is the two of pentacles. So the two of pentacles is a card of fake conflict. So Harry looks at William and he says, okay, you're not really thinking about me. You don't really have a conflict between uh, what is uh, right for the monarchy and what is right for me. You know exactly what you need to do. You know exactly what you want to do and you don't care about me. This is ex what this card is uh, actually saying. This is a card of burning bridges and Harry sees uh, William as the one who burned the bridges behind him, be, uh, in that uh, relationship and not himself. This is well, Harry's point of view and this is how he sees that. He feels that uh, the way that ha William uh, got involved in everything that connected to uh, Megan and the way that she treated her staff, that was uh, in part uh, his uh, uh, blame, and he is to blame for the bridges that burned. Uh, he did. Not, he that he sees him as someone who didn't hesitate because this is a fake conflict. So he might have said something that showed that he had a conflict, but uh, William, Harry doesn't see that William really had a conflict. He sees him as someone that was determined to do what he thinks is right, and this is what he did, and he burned the bridges behind them. Okay, so that's how William, Harry sees William. Now, what is Harry's side of the problem? How does he contribute to, contributes to the uh, to the rivalry between the brothers. And what I'm getting here is the Ten of Swords. Okay, so the Ten of Swords is a card of, that, of someone who is going through a very, very difficult time. And this is someone who is going through a storm. This is someone who has made mistakes and because of that he is suffering. Now in order for him to turn around this guy, to turn around and see the sunlight, he needs to learn from his mistake. He needs to learn an, a, a lesson and then a new page can can start or a new chapter as Megan likes to call it. But because we see this person with his head towards us and not towards the sunlight, uh, we see a person that he's, that he's even a little bit ginger uh, that is going through a storm. He's going through the worst. Uh, and this is why he's a contra this is how he contributed to the rift. He looks at William and he sees him as the reason for all of that. Uh, the, when we get this card uh, uh, be, and we don't see someone who is uh, actually learned his lesson, this is someone who doesn't see reality as it is. As w all swords card that have problems, the two of swords, the five of swords, all of these cards are people that don't see reality as it is, and because of that, they are of the nine of swords, and because of that, they end up in this ten of swords energy. So he cannot see reality as it is. He blames William for his current situation. He is in a 
crisis. He feels terrible, and he doesn't look at himself as responsible. He doesn't look at his wife as responsible. He is uh, turning the entire blame at his brother. And why, that, why do I say the entire blame? Because this is the Ten of Swords. If we if we could, if we had a different card like the Three of Swords or uh, the Five of Pentacles that are cards of destruction, then I could have said uh, that maybe he sees part of the problems in William. But because it is the Ten of Swords, this is the last card of the Swords. It is the end of the journey, and this is uh, he sees William responsible for each and every sword that is is stuck in his back. So how does he see the problem between them as a whole? And what I'm getting here is the Five of Pentacles, which I just talked about. So the Five of Pentacles, that's a card of destruction. That is the card of a failure. And he sees that problem as something that causes their destructions. His destruction, his wife's destruction, he sees that as the root of the problem, the root why they do not succeed, why they cannot become financially stable as he wanted. He is in this difficult place and he doesn't see that this difficult place comes because he himself acted from the energy of the Four of Swords, uh, Four of Pentacles, and he was adhering to what he knew because he felt threatened. And this led to the Five of Pentacles. So this is a card of someone who feels poverty, he, he feels uh, self-destruction, but he doesn't see the self part of the self-destruction. He feels the destruction. He feels that he failed or that he was caused to fail. To, to fail. He feels uh, financial problems and he uh, is also uh, finds himself that he finds it difficult to get out of this uh, energy. Uh, he is a person that finds himself it finds it hard to forgive others and uh, he is unable to uh, uh, forgive others mistakes he is a uh, he has the tendency to outburst and he is someone who feels that he was betrayed but he himself was the one who betrayed others but he doesn't see that he doesn't see that and because of that, he is in that destruction mode. He is in that failure energy. And this is how he feels that this rift caused that failure. He doesn't see how he caused that failure. He sees that he, all he sees is that this rift and this, uh, the way that he, his brother acted towards him, that was the cause of the failure. Okay, the next card is what does William need to do in regard to Harry? And what I'm getting here is the Two of Cups. Okay, so the Two of Cups is a card that says, you don't, don't, try, don't wait for him to court you, you be the one who courts. Don't wait for him to come and ask for forgiveness. You be the one who uh, goes out there and be active and don't ask for forgiveness, but try to initiate some kind of, uh, some kind of, uh, Oh, I don't know how you said English, but in in Arabic we have there is a word a word called sulha, which is uh, when two families that are uh, in in really bad bad relationships, even uh, in a way that someone killed someone else in that family family, they can get together with uh, someone uh, like. Uh, an Arabic priest that is uh, doing that ceremony called Sulha and they forgive each other. So this is about uh, initiating this kind of uh, this kind of um, event. So he doesn't have to come out and say, uh, please forgive me for everything that happened. But he, it, it has to come from William. He has to be the one 
active enough to try and solve the problems, try to uh, heal the rift. And, and why do I say that William has to be the one? Not only because we have the two of cups here, but also because uh, William is, uh, it looks like he, for, he just gave up on Harry. He gave up on that relationship. He doesn't care anymore. And he has to care. And this is why we have two cups here, which are also emotional and also cards of uh, uh, love and emotions and feelings. So he needs to uh, remember his love to his brother, remember what got them together at the first place and uh, try and be active and to try and heal the rift. Now, I did read that uh, uh, Catherine, I think I said, I, t I told you that, but I, if I didn't, i am tell you uh, again, uh, that Catherine uh, did try to uh, heal the rift between the, the brothers, but Megan is the one that insists on uh, leaving things as they are. Catherine is really willing to do whatever it takes to uh, to heal the bad blood. She's willing to forget forget the bad blood. Uh, this has to come from William is, uh, himself. And if it does come from William, maybe Harry will accept it. So what does Harry need to do if he wants to heal the rift, if he wants to get out of this energy of five of pentacles of of ten of swords and what i'm getting here is the lovers now what a coincidence because the two of cups looks is a very similar card to the lovers card they look very much the same and a lot of people uh, interpret the two of cups the same way that they interpret the lovers so in both of them we see two people that are joined together in this uh, loving relationship and i believe that this is because there was love between them there uh, and there is still love between them and this is why i all i put this ring uh, of a heart here to remind Remind myself that they, uh, that they had, that they were loving. They were loving brothers once, and but the lovers card is also about being total, about cutting out whatever is not helping you in your life's pathway, and Harry needs to be very, very s smart here to realize what it is that is redundant in his life. What is it that is is blocking him? What is it that he needs to cut out from his life? This is what uh, the card is telling him. And he needs to take the right decision. He needs to uh, to see reality as it is in order to take the right decision. And he might take this card or this advice as, okay, I need to cut William out of my life. But this is not what this card is telling him. This card is telling him that if he wants to heal the rift with his brother, he needs to cut out someone else that is not helping him in his, in, in, in his life. And it's not a coincidence. We have a woman here, and that is the woman that is uh, the root of the entire problem. Okay, so will we see the situation improving? And the answer is... Mm, maybe the world card is a is a card of endings and beginnings and this could be an ending of their relationship and a beginning of a new way of both of them apart from one another it can also be the ending of the rift and beginning a new way together so uh, this is what this card is saying to us. It's not a conclusive card. It is really dependent on what each of them will do. And uh, this card only shows us that there are two possibilities. It is the possibility of ending the rift and it is the possibility of completely ending their relationship. Uh, this 
card is a card that says that look that shows us perfectionism and I believe that both at least Megan is and I think that William is also a perfectionist so I believe that William will try whatever he can to heal the rift once he realizes that this is a part of the way for him to keep the monarchy because the one who really hurts the monarchy is not Prince Andrew, it is Prince Harry. So this is the answer and unfortunately it's not a conclusive answer. Now I'm going to use the Earthbound Oracle which is a very easy oracle to use. It has only one uh, word in it uh, to, to describe uh, the message. Uh, small cards, because we are using small cards, I thought I use this small deck as well. And I'm going to ask, and why do I use this one? Because the earthbound oracle is very connected to earth, connected to uh, doing things, connected to being real and uh, seeing reality as it is. Okay, so what I'm going to ask is for energy for William. Okay, so let's clear the deck. Okay, so energy for William in his rift with his brother. Energy for William in his rift with his brother. The seat. And we have here a snake, two-headed snake. So William is facing the seat from Harry's side, and not only Harry, but also uh, the snake that is his wife. And uh, unfortunately, uh, I don't see it going anywhere. Uh, not in a good way. This is a really difficult hard, this, uh, card. The seat that comes from uh, William, it comes from his wife. And uh, funnily enough, there, by the way, next week, uh, the uh, French television is going to do a documentary about the bullying claims. So it would be interesting to see what they find out. But uh, the, the seat here is uh, coming from uh, Harry's side, from his wife, and from their helpers. Okay, so this is it for this reading. Not a very uh, a positive one, I, I'm afraid. And I'll see you in the next one. Uh, just don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and leave me a comment. Bye-bye.